Forecasting demand is about using all available information to estimate what the demand will be upon your operations in the future, in the short, medium and long term. Forecasting and demand planning is essential for most departments of an organisation, from marketing, finance, supply chain and operations who have to make the capacity size decisions. In the short term, this is maybe planning some extra overtime. In the long term, it might be building a whole new factory. Looking ahead and seeking to better estimate future demand not only helps us plan the general level of capacity for a certain time period, but also reduces the risk of being surprised. Yes, much demand variation is unpredictable to an extent, but through good deliberate forecasting, it is often possible to anticipate some future changes in demand and create time to prepare, rather than react and suffer. There are many methods of forecasting, nicely shown with a good old 2x2 two two matrix. On one side, we have internal and external methods. These mean to draw information from both within our own organisation and from outside it. On the other side of the matrix, we have quantitative and qualitative methods, so based on numerical or non-numerical data. An example of an internal quantitative forecasting method might be some time series analysis of historic demand data. An example of an internal qualitative forecasting method might be to interview various managers and analysts within the company for their predictions. An external quantitative method could be to analyse trends in the overall market data, whereas an external qualitative method might be to do a market survey gathering opinions of potential customers or even talking with people in other similar companies to share non-sensitive insights. Combining several of these methods from multiple sources provides the best opportunity of a robust forecast. This is crucial to plan appropriate capacity for the short, medium and long term and reduce uncertainty and risk of upcoming partially predictable variation. Great, we've made a forecast. But someone making a forecast and keeping it filed on their computer is not enough. To get the value of a forecast, it should ideally be created collaboratively with input from many departments and then shared and communicated throughout the organisation so everyone is working from the same assumptions and the same demand forecast. 